Merry Christmas everybody and welcome to our entire Toys to Life collection for Skylanders, Lego Dimensions, and Disney Infinity and just a couple little bit of Amiibos. Now we have been collecting Toys to Life figures for about two and a half years, probably closer to three years now and this has what it has grown to. It started off with just Skylanders Giants is what we started off of. I like to do this video once every year because first of all it reminds me of all the fun times that we've had doing Toys to Life videos and also it reminds me of the passion that we've got for it and the cohesiveness that it gives our family and all the fun times that we've had together. It gives me a lot of memories. Um, every time I do this it amazes me that we've amassed so many characters. Luckily, we've been blessed enough to be able to do that and to be able to purchase everything, a lot of the stuff. We have pretty much the complete collection of Disney Infinity characters minus three characters out of all. We're missing uh, the black suit Spider-Man, but we do have the power disc that can make him black suit Spider-Man, so I never bothered purchasing him. We are also missing, as of right now, the two new uh, Star Wars Force Awakens playset characters that come in the playset. We haven't purchased that yet, but sometime down the line real soon we will. Um, those are the only three Disney Infinity characters that we're missing out of the whole set. We've got all of the crystals, as you can see, hopefully right here in the front. The collection is so huge that I actually cannot fit it all in the video frame that you guys are watching right now. We'll look at it a little bit more in depth a little bit later. I normally do this type of video to where um, we split it up among the games. Like Skylanders, we'll do a Skylanders collection, we'll do a Disney Infinity collection, and we'll do... Uh, that's it. Skylanders and Disney Infinity. And now we've got LEGO Dimensions. Since we've amassed so many toys, I like to make the videos a little bit more quicker, short and sweet, and get straight to the point. Um, it's easier for us to do this video as a whole. Because Toys to Life is all of this. It's not just about which one do you like better, really, in my opinion. Because I like them all. I like going out and collecting these things. It's really, really cool. What's amazing to me is that all of these characters that are spread out on all the shelves, and even these giants behind me, fit into three big black shelves, which we'll show you at the end, because I have to dust them off. I do that, like, a couple times a year. This time is my big cleaning and, and unshuffling time and organizing our characters back the way that we'd like them to be organized. Now, this is just crazy. I cannot believe how much we've amassed. We're going to go through pretty much each game and collection uh, kind of really quickly one by one. If there's a story that we have to tell about a certain character or a memory that certain characters bring back, we'll tell you along the way. I'm also going to let you guys know who my favorite characters are, my top five for each different genre, except for Lego Dimensions because we don't have that much of it yet. Uh, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got about seven characters, I think. Maybe less. I, I can't remember. But we just got that game about a week ago and we've amassed quite a few. And we plan on getting more. But that's about it. Here is our collection. We'll show that to you up close with all the characters and a quick story for different characters as well. Thanks for watching everybody. So I figured we'd start on the Skylanders game that started all Toys to Life collection craze or collecting or gaming for that matter at all. This is our Skylanders Spirals Adventure character collection. Now, this is probably our most incomplete set that we've got of all of the games that are out. But, again, we had to go back and collect them because we started on Skylanders Giants. That was actually our first game that we started when Toys to Life was around. Uh, Spiral's Adventure had already came out. It started to hit a nice craze. People really started liking and collecting it, but Giants is when we started. And then we went back and bought a whole bunch of the Skylander Spirals Adventure characters. And then right around that time, soon after, is when Swap Force came out. I'm trying to remember all these games. Now, what you're going to see back here is all of our Skylanders expansions. For Skylanders, 
one through four. So it's going to be Skylanders Spirals Adventure, Skylanders Giants, Skylanders uh, Swap Force, and Skylanders Soup, no, Skylanders Trap Team. Uh, our Superchargers expansions are right on our Superchargers table, actually, where we've got all of our characters at, because I don't really want to call those expansions. They're more like extra racing packs more than anything. Now, over here is our small and growing Lego Dimension set. We've got Bart Simpson. Let's turn him around. There's Bart Simpson, Batman, Unikitty, Gandalf, Marty McFly, Homer Simpson, and Wildstyle. And the really, really cool base that you've got to build, or the portal for the toy pad. It's called a toy pad. Not a base, not a portal, a toy pad. Let's see if we can remember the names of these characters. Trigger Happy, Green Gill Grunt, Whamshell, uh, Voodoo, Igniter, Red Drill Sergeant, Dino Rang, Legendary Bash, we've got uh, uh, Sunburn, another Gil Grunt right there, right there is Ghost Roaster, we've got um, Dark Spiral, Legendary Trigger Happy, there is Boomer, one of my, one of my favorites I would have to say. Um, we'll still do our top five. Actually, I'm sorry. This guy right here is probably my second favorite character of them all. Number two. The rest of these guys, eh, maybe we'll come back to them and see. Next up is going to be Skylanders Giants. Here's all of our Skylanders Giants characters. We've got pretty much the complete collection of Skylander Giants figures. I've tried to organize them the best I can according to their element. There's Drobot, another Drobot. There's like a Series 2 Drobot or something like that, and then the regular Drobot, Trigger Happy. I can't remember. They started changing their name, Sprocket, and here's more. Now, this was the game that started it all for us, Skylanders Giants. And we loved this game so much, we went back and bought Spiral's Adventure. Then we found out that they're going to be doing a third game, which was Swap Force, which is my favorite of the Skylander series. And we've had a lot of fun with the series. But this is what started us with Toys to Life, was Skylander's Giants. It's always a pleasure doing these videos because it brings back so many memories of all the hunting trips that we've done, all the fun times that we've had, all the gameplay, all the challenges and battle modes that we did. And we even actually at one point in time did uh, a couple of music videos. You guys can't see it now. We'll probably end up going back at some point in time and doing more music videos again. It's just that we ended up getting so crazy with our YouTube stuff that we have not had time to go back and do all the videos that we like to do or that we would like to do for you guys. Now let's see, is there a story about any of these characters that I would like to tell you guys? Um, I think we'll go with Scarlet Ninjini. Scarlet Ninjini was probably the most sought after Skylanders Giants figure. She's probably, I do believe, she is the tallest of all the Skylanders that there is. I don't know who to put her up next to. But um, Scarlet Ninjini was one of the characters that we highly, highly saw. We went out hunting for her everywhere. When we found out that she came out, we were really, really stoked and excited. Um, another one that we got, which is pretty rare to find these days, is Granite Crusher. He's a really, really cool Skylanders character. I really, really love him. Um, another one that we have a nice little story for is, let's see, was it Polar Whirlwind? We got her, I do believe, at the GameStop day. Uh, what was it, probably about two years ago, right around there. She's a really, really good looking character. One of my favorites, but not in my top five. Do I have a top five from here? Yes. Uh, we're gonna go with our number three. This is my number three favorite character for Skylanders. That is Thumbback. I love him, man. Really, really good character. He plays really well in game. One of my favorites. Next up is going to be Skylander Swap Force. Here's all of our Skylander Swap Force characters. With the exception of a few, we've actually had to put them on our Superchargers table. 
We've got another version of Sprocket. Uh, excellent. I don't know. Trigger happy. Excellent. Big bang. Excellent. Trigger. Big bang. Trigger happy. There's Scorp down there. Dark slobber tooth. And that is about it for our Skylander Superchargers characters right there. Now, my number one favorite Skylander is somewhere in this video still right here. Can you guys guess exactly which one it is? Now, I want you guys to leave it in the comments down below because if you guys are big fans of our channel, you know who my absolute favorite Skylander is of all time. Number one is sitting on this table. Is it a swap force character? Is it a swapper? Or is it one of the core characters that we see right here? I had to put these guys and jumble them up so much together because I didn't have enough room on all my tabletops to actually put this um, on the video. I, I had to put my giants all the way over there. That's crazy. Now, my number one favorite is this guy right here. Nitro Magna Charge. My favorite Skylander of all time. Why? He's fast. He shoots like crazy. He's just a good all-around Skylander character. He is by far my number one favorite Skylander of all time. So you guys know my number one, my number two, and my number three. I would have to say that my fourth favorite Skylander is still on this table as well. Hmm. Who would that be? Any, many, miny, mo. There he is. Jolly Bumble Blast. This guy is an absolute beast. If you've ever battled with Bumble Blast, you would know exactly why he's one of my favorites. This guy is absolutely amazing all around to battle with. I can't wait until Skylanders comes out next year. I have a very, very strong feeling that our PvP is going to return because there was a big, strong outcry. Next up is going to be our Skylanders Trap Team collection. So I feel like with Skylanders Trap Team, we started to go into a little bit of a downward spiral in Skylanders games. Uh, what do I mean by that? Was Skylanders Trap Team a good game? Yes, it was a really, really good game. But they oversaturated us with the gimmick. Um, they also got rid of PvP during this time, I do believe. Yes, they got rid of PvP during Trap Team. They did not bring it back in Skylander Superchargers. And, but the really, really cool thing was is that a lot of these Trap Team characters were really, really cool. Now, my fifth favorite Skylanders character is on this table somewhere. I want you to start commenting down below right now. Who is my fifth Skylanders character that is my favorite that is on this table? I don't have a favorite from uh, Superchargers. Well, I have a favorite from Superchargers, but I wouldn't put it in my top five. Bushwhack back there. Look at Bushwhack. We actually lost his axe top. It's actually sitting somewhere on our shelves over here. I like the fact that they've got these Eons Elite. They're a really cool addition, but the price tag on them, $24.99 when they first came out, was a little bit on the steep side. Got Elite Terrafin, Elite Chop Chop, Elite uh, Stealth Elf, and Elite uh, Trigger Happy. Now, my fifth favorite Skylander is right back here. Love this guy. Just his whole artwork, uh, what they did with him is absolutely amazing. He doesn't play the greatest in game. He's all right in game, but I just like his uniqueness. It's just completely different. He looks different than every single Skylander that there's out with the exception of Enigma. Enigma is a really, really good one as well. But for some reason, he's just stuck up there. I don't know if it's just his whole look as it is. Uh, what he looks like in game is really cool. Some of his moves are pretty sweet. He looks graceful. Um, I really, really love this guy. Awesome character. And that is about it for our Skylanders Trap Team collection. Oh wait, hold on, I almost forgot. You can't have trap team without the without the traps. So this is the one thing that really started to push me back about Skylanders right here. Is that they tried too hard with the gimmick. They did these traps. I want to know how many of you guys actually got 
every single one of the traps because I don't think many people did. I think people got probably about six or seven, maybe eight traps and they called it a day because having all these traps to just trap one character at a time when you could actually put them all in the bank after you've caught them um, just didn't really make a lot of sense. After you had about two of each element, you're pretty much good to go. But that is our trap collection. And then we're going to move on to our Skylanders Superchargers characters, which is our second most incomplete collection out of all of our Skylanders characters. Here's all of our Skylanders Superchargers collection. First, we're starting with the vehicles. We got quite a few of them. I've actually, we've collected so many of these things that I can't remember the name of everything all at once. It's really, really hard to remember. Like this guy, uh, Steel Plated Smash Hit. I barely remember that one. I couldn't remember it for the life of me earlier. I could not remember his name. Now, these are what I was talking about as semi-expansion packs. These are, are the uh, trophy cups. This one would be the water racing cup. This one is the air racing cup. I don't know if we ever got the Land Racing Cup. I'm not sure that's came out yet. That is the Chaos Cup that unlocks the Chaos Doom Jet vehicle uh, if you purchase the Skylanders Superchargers Dark Edition. You would get this cup right here. There's another one. My This is probably my favorite looking vehicle. Uh, forgot the name of it. Nitro Chopper or whatever. Um, my favorite vehicle all together really is the dark hot streak i really like this one and then here are the skylander superchargers characters that we have we've pretty much got most of the skylander superchargers characters that are out to date with just a few of them missing we are missing uh lava lance eruptor and a couple of the elites that have came out as well as who else is there that we're missing can't remember if there's anybody else that we're missing. Leave it in the comments down below for characters. Now the vehicles, I really just, they didn't catch on with me. I don't care for them too much. I might get one or two other vehicles uh, as Skylander Superchargers releases, but I'm not going to get any more. I, I just, I don't know. This, the, the vehicles did not catch on to me that much. But my favorite out of the Skylander Superchargers characters that is out is this one right here. Splat. She is absolutely beautiful. She's actually the one Skylander Supercharger character that brought me back to Skylanders again this year. There was a point in time this year where I was just like, man, I'm done with these things. And I don't know why I even said that. I feel so bad for even saying that and letting you guys down. When I did happen to be going through that moment in time, uh, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't thinking straight. But this is definitely one of my favorite Skylander Superchargers characters. I have still yet to play with her. So she could easily become uh, one of my top five. I'm not really sure yet. Just her look is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's actually check out our cards. Now this is the one thing that we don't ever show you guys. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. I'm not sure which ones are which. Let's, let's look in here. Oh, Power Desk for Disney Infinity. This box right here. It's got all the it's got all the stickers on it. This is our card collection. We've kept every single card for all of our characters that we could, including the Disney Infinity. And also Skylanders should be somewhere in here. There's Skylanders. Tons and tons of Skylanders. Tons of Disney Infinity cards. Um we haven't they didn't give us cards this year which was kind of sad. They gave us a whole bunch of stickers. But we actually really collected the cards and we really loved them a whole lot. We even bought extra cases that we can't use. Oh, we even, we even got the stickers back here. That I didn't even know that we had. I didn't know that we kept some of the stickers for the Superchargers characters. Pretty cool. And then here's some more discs for Disney Infinity. And then another case full of Disney Infinity discs. I think this one has 2.0 and a couple of 3.0 discs in it as well. But that's all of our discs. They fit into one of these. Next up, we're going to move to our Disney Infinity character collection. So everybody has a favorite game in our family. Mine happens to be Disney Infinity for Toys to Life. For my wife, Cherie, 
She likes the Skylanders characters and Caden, he likes Lego Dimensions. Now, we have pretty much the complete collection of Disney Infinity characters starting from Disney Infinity Original, Disney Infinity 1, Disney Infinity. And then we've gone all the way through Disney Infinity 3.0. Look at Sully, he's falling down over here. We even liked Disney Infinity so much that we got the crystal characters. We went out on day one and collected a bunch of the Disney Infinity guys. Uh, all of Wave 1 for Disney 1. And we've done the same through all of the Disney Infinity games. My favorite thing about Disney Infinity is the toy box, by far. It expands the gameplay for the game. The play sets, if it were just play sets in Disney Infinity, I wouldn't buy the game. I really seriously would not buy the game because the play sets are short. Um, they're not as action packed. You can't play with all of the characters in it and just wouldn't do it, guys. But because of the Disney Infinity toy box, the replay value of this game is very, very high. There's a lot of replayability in this game and your money and your dollars go a far away with how much you're gonna spend time playing in the Disney Infinity toy box. Some people like it, some people don't. Shree's favorite thing about Skylanders is the story and the uh, original characters. That's her favorite thing. Caden's favorite thing about Lego Dimensions is the newness of the game, I guess, for the most part. And plus, they're characters that he can relate to from movies and TV shows that are out now. Now, at Disney Infinity, I honestly have to say that if you are a young child, six and under, don't get this game. It's it's probably a little bit too hard for you. It's a little bit more advanced. Um, even the building and everything. Some things they don't tell you how to do. Right back here is our play sets. And here are two unopened Disney Infinity 3.0 characters that I have not yet opened yet and unboxed. I will be doing that today and the video will be up. Uh, you'll probably see the unboxing of those guys back there before you will this video that we're watching right now. But that is our entire Disney Infinity collection from Disney Infinity, the original game, all the way over to Disney Infinity 3.0. Now right here is the Frost Beast base as well. This thing was really cool. It came as the character collection. It was like, I can't remember what the price was on this. 150 bucks or something like that. Something like that for Disney Infinity 2.0. Now what you do is you can touch the little in and the first thing that happens is that the eyes light up on the Frost Beast. This was like a simulation of the Frost Beast battle in the Avengers playset. I thought it was a really, really cool idea. And then if you press it again, maybe, the whole base itself lights up, which is really, really cool. I like that as a collector's edition. You can find this on sale for really cheap now, like 20 bucks or so, I think. But that's it, guys. We are done with the collection. Pretty huge collection, huh? It's taken us quite a long time to collect all these characters. Now, not by any means do I say collect every single one of these guys yourselves. Don't do it. It uh, can get really, really crazy. It can get time consuming. It can cost a lot of money. It, not, not that it can cost a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to be able to do this. And thankfully, we've been able to, and uh, I feel very fortunate that we have. And from the help of you guys, we have also been able to purchase these characters and play them for you. And for that, I thank you from the very bottom of my heart so much. We wouldn't be here today without you guys. You guys are the ones that helped start all of this for us as well. When we posted our first few videos, the one video that actually got our, I, I don't think I've ever said this before, the one video that got our channel started was the Skylanders Giants uh, minis. I don't know how many of you guys, if you're watching this video right now and you started our channel from the Skylanders Giants minis review, let me know. I'm interested to see. I think that was our first video that went completely viral. Before that, we had some really ragtag videos that uh, were just like quick uh, character reviews which were really really silly at the time we had a we didn't have that great of a camera 
We didn't have any type of editing software or anything whatsoever. So it was just the raw uncut footage. That's exactly what you saw was just it as it happened. Now, we did our Skylines Giants mini review and that was our first video that went pretty much viral. We got about 50 something thousand views out of that video in one month. And then from there we said, okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep on going. And that's when we kept on going with our YouTube channel. Was from Skylanders Giants when the Skylanders minis came out. That's what started us off into YouTube. So I we started our channel on April of 2013. We didn't really upload too many videos until about October of 2013. That's when we started saying okay and got really serious about it. If you're serious about getting into collecting and to do the videos like we have, what I have to say is that number one, invest wisely. You don't have to get all of this to be satisfied. You really don't. We just like to, we've been able to, we've been fortunate enough to that we can. And it's a hobby that we really love. Find yourself a hobby that you really love and go with it. Post videos about that hobby that you really, really like. Um, number two is to be yourself. Don't change for anybody. A lot of people will try to change who you are. They'll want to see you do a certain kind of video and that's it. And you just can't. You can't please everybody. You're here to kind of please yourself and to please the people that come to you for who you are, not what they want you to be. They come to like you and watch you for who you are. And that's about it, guys. That's that's my little tips and tricks. Be wise on how you purchase all this stuff. Uh, wait for a sale. Don't try to be the first one to go out and get it. We had done that route for about two years. We just learned this year that we can't go out and do that. It's not humanly possible with all these games that are out now and all the toys that come along with it and the price tags that they carry. It's just insane how much all this has cost. I did a math video not too long ago, about a month ago, about how much this cost. It's cost us over over $6,000 for all these characters. $6,000 is what this has cost us. Probably more. I have not figured in the fact of us shopping online and paying extra for some of the characters. I have not figured in the fact of gas money. I have not figured the fact of doubles. Um, I have not figured the fact of different prices from other places like Toys R Us cost a dollar more for their characters. Um, and there's just other little factors that go into it all as well. I haven't thought about that. A rough estimate is what this collection right here is worth is about $6,000 in all. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, if you went by online pricing or eBay pricing, it, it would be a little bit more. But that's it, guys. Have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed our collection video. And I love you all, and I will see you very soon. Now it's time for me to dust off some really nasty shelves.